Oh, there you are, YouTube. So today I went to my local library. They were having a sale on used movies and I, I, I go there every once in a while to pick up some films, so I decided to vlog it. Normally I just show you what I picked up, but I vlogged a little bit of it, and then we'll come back here, and then I'll show you what I picked up. So here's a look at everything they have. It's five for one dollar, or 25 cents each, and it's not necessarily in alphabetical order. It's just kind of in an order. Actually, there's no order. There's no order. Uh, Penelope, I remember that movie. I think I've seen part of it. I don't know. A lot of these, I don't know what they are. I haven't heard of many of these films, and I don't know how they get added. This is sealed, so that's cool. That's rare, but I do already own it, and I do own that version, so I don't need that. American Splendor, love this movie, first saw it in college, and then I saw it at a, at a film festival. Squeeze it in right there. But yeah, a lot of these, I just pass up because I don't, know them they just have like no cultural footprint or something the big kahuna that sounds familiar uh so said danny devito was in it i don't know the title sounds familiar but i don't know that cover but a lot of this stuff i don't know like you'll even find some like hallmark christmas style movies here uh the, at the gate of the ghost i don't know that's that's a cool title but i don't i don't know anything about it is that is that familiar to anybody? <laughs> See, it's just a a collection of things I'm not familiar with. Hmm. So that does really limit the possibilities of what I want to pick up. Plus, a lot of these movies I do already own, like Flags of Our Fathers, right there. Already own that. Um, Jingle All the Way. Action, but look, it's part two. Larry the Cable Guy. Did anybody watch that? Was that any good? I mean, I don't expect it to be good at all, but I'm just you know, curious if it's even like watch watchable. Because I I don't know, but yeah, a lot of these movies I already have, uh, or I've never heard of them, or just nothing I want to pick up. Like Alpha Dog, I did watch that once, but it's not something I need to buy. I don't feel invested in it even for twenty five cents where many years ago when I used to buy from um, a pawn shop that my friend worked at, I'd get movies even cheaper than 25 cents. I would just add them to my collection where I was more of a quantity over quality. Amelia Clark. See, I don't know many of her movies. I mean, shes I feel like she's super famous, but I, I don't know a lot of the stuff she's in. Hmm. Oh, The Island. I think this is a really underrated Michael Bay movie. I do like The Island a lot. I th feel like it doesn't get talked about much. Um, maybe now when I would watch it, maybe I would find issues with it. But when it first came out and I first bought it on DVD, I was watching it quite a bit. I'm, I am a fan of that one. Let's see here. What do we got? Stuff I've never heard of. Stuff I don't know. Unfamiliar, unfamiliar, don't care. Um, I'm just kind of going through this really quick while I'm filming, but I will make another pass to make final decisions, and I'll spend a little bit more time. Butter, I remember that. Wasn't that, I heard that got like good reviews. It was one that I never watched. I think my wife watched that one though while I was at work one time. Pretty sure I remember her telling me about it. Hey, look at that. We've got a horror film. Icelandic. Thirst. Cool. Is it worth picking up? Who knows? Also, i got to check all these for scratches because, like Mystic River, I have that movie. Um, library movies, they are so scratched. Like, they are rough. The people who rent them, um, borrow them from the library, they just do not take care of these movies at all. I thought that was maybe Clint Eastwood on there, and I was like, I don't know this one, but that was definitely not Clint Eastwood. Okay. What? Else? Hey, a musical there? Okay. Fred Astaire, one of the, the greatest dancers out there. I wouldn't be... I'd, I'd, I'd pick that up. 
and here's another row at the very bottom now this has movies i've heard of but i like own them already you know um like inception i am legend the good shepherd the departed like a lot of these movies i just already have <clears throat> a perfect murder do i have that one i can't remember if i have that one ninth gate i i thought i had that one the descent i do have here we got some shows arrested development the simpsons and then what is this what would you just we just have some slips here somebody buy the movies and leave the slips why why is that the case you want to keep your slip cover with your movies what what is what's this about that's strange now these are the movies that I wanted to pick up, but they were way too scratched when I look at, looked at them. Resistance, Jesse Eisenberg is in it, and I like him. King Arthur, this is the um, the Guy Ritchie version. Never saw it, so I was curious about it. Sicario 2, I really wanted this one. Out of everything that I saw, this is what I wanted most, but it was way too scratched. Coyote Summer looks like something that your grandparents would have on VHS that you would watch when you're visiting. The Bandwagon, oh, that was that, uh, that musical I wouldn't wanted to pick up but nope way too scratched far from home that was a movie i saw in theaters when i was a kid i just kind of wanted to watch it again but i can't too scratched failure to launch i think i remember that was kind of funny plus we've been watching a lot of sex in the city so sjp wouldn't mind watching it and then the way back i heard uh really good things about that but too scratched okay so let's go over what i picked up I'm trying to figure out the order of this okay I think, I think I got it. So first I picked up this movie called Penelope, but I like to call it Penelope because of a movie called Slam and Salmon, the Broken Lizard Gang. Um, it's a, I don't know, it's, it's one of their movies. It's really funny. This is not one of their movies. This is just like a fantastical movie about Christina Ricci having like a pig nose and Professor Xavier's in it, uh, James McAvoy, uh, Catherine O'Hara, Kevin... Kevin McAllister's mom is in it, and then Reese Witherspoon is also in it. And I remember, I can't remember if I saw this movie in full, but I did like catch it on a movie channel once, or I don't know, maybe I rented it, I can't remember, but I think I remember liking it, and it seemed like a cute little fantastical story, so I thought maybe it was time for a rewatch, and there was no scratch on it, and most of their movies have scratches on it, so uh, that, that made it a little easier to pick up, especially when you consider how cheap these things are. All right, next we got The Ninth Gate. Uh, I just realized recently that I didn't have this movie. I think I was doing, when I hit 666 followers, I was looking for movies about Satan and hell and things like that. And I was looking for this one and I was like, wait, do I not own this movie? Because I could have swore I own this movie. But apparently I don't own it. And I went to my like running list of all the movies that I have in my notes, and I, which is a few years out of date actually many years out of date but i was like if i owned it it would have been a long time ago when i bought it and i didn't have it so uh yeah i was like okay well i guess i gotta pick it up um because i saw it at the library and it was like you know don't have it couldn't find it for my 666 episode and our subscriber episode and um couldn't find it in my notes so Apparently I didn't have it, but now I have it. And yeah, it's a Polanski film and Johnny Depp starring in it. I want to make sure. Yeah, okay. I was like, I think it's Polanski. Okay, um, next, my next movie is actually not a movie. It's, it's more of a lie that I'm telling myself. And that is the Insanity Workout. I found the Insanity Workout, the entire thing. Um here and I used to do this in college one of my buddies he like gave me a bootleg and I don't know there's somewhere actually down in the basement but it wasn't a complete bootleg it was missing some stuff but this looks like it's complete it has everything in it and I was like um you know let's let's go ahead and get some insanity workout going someday Someday. Uh, yeah, this is probably never going to happen, but you know what? Now I have the option. I'm, I'm glad that I have the option to do this. But yeah, it's like a 60-day a thing to get like ripped, right? To look like you're, you're starring in the movie 300. And I did it in uh, college, 
uh, I lived on the first floor of an apartment, so it was like very sturdy, right? And this workout, you're moving all over the place. So because I was on the first floor, um, it, it wasn't, you know, shaking the place at all. But I had to move, and then the new place I was living in was just every everywhere I jumped, every move I made, the, the house felt like it was shaking, right? So I just stopped doing it. I stopped doing the Insanity workout because of the location I moved to. And so I only got, I think I only got like a month in. Um, so I only got like half of it done, but I did see the results. The results are so fast. I just never got back into it because I never had the space. That, that one apartment that I had was so good. And I've never, never had an, uh, a, a place feel as sturdy with as much open space as that place. So uh, maybe if that ever happens, I can pop these DVDs in and try and get ripped again. Okay, uh, say because I only got half ripped last time. And the final film I picked up was American Splendor. Really love this movie. So um, it's about Harvey Pecker who basically creates a comic book about himself and just how like miserable he is, how sad his life is, how, I don't know, he's, he seems like very depressed and everything and just kind of a, or, or negative, he's like a very negative person anyway. And um, yeah, what's, what's cool about this movie though is the real Harvey Pecker is like in the movie along with Paul Giamatti playing him and I think that's what makes it cool. It's like, in a way, documentary and dramatization at the same time. So based on a real story, including the actual subject and Paul Giamatti playing him. Um, I saw this back in college around when it came out. And then I also had the opportunity to rewatch it at Robert Roger Ebert's Film Festival uh, with the two directors because this is co-directed. Um, let me see, I can't remember who the directors are, and this is covering up that information. Is it written on the back, on the front? Blast. Okay, so I can't see it because the sticker is covering it up, but it's like co-director. The direct, both directors were there, and, um, uh, you know, did a Q&A afterwards, but really great movie. I love Paul Giamatti. This is one of my favorite, uh, performances of his. I think he should have been nominated for best actor for this role. I think that would have been a, a great, a great nomination for the Academy to give. But anyway, uh, yeah, these are my, these are my movies and workout tapes that I'll probably never use, but I have the option. I have the option now. So Insanity, The Ninth Gate, Penelope and American Splendor. Really excited to have American Splendor. Uh, I'd like that to hit some sort of boutique label um, so that I'm not just, you know, using this library copy. I think that would be awesome. I'd love to have uh, somebody pick it up, do something awesome with it. Criterion, Arrow, I don't, I don't care who, or just something, something great. Kino, who, who cares? I just, I just think it should be something, something good. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, also, it's just, it's, it's rare to find anything at the library that doesn't have any scratches, so I'm glad I did find a few things. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, and perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.